McLaren has recently refreshed its lineup like never before, transforming the GT into the GTS, launching the 750S, and unveiling the Artura Spider. The Artura Spider isn't just a new body style. It introduces more power and several updates for both the convertible and the coupe. This includes a dealer-distributed software upgrade that gives existing Artura Coupe owners a free 19-horsepower boost. This marks a significant evolution for a car often called the Baby McLaren, but that's a misnomer. To explore the newest member of the McLaren family, we spent a day driving the Artura Spider through the scenic roads of southern France. With McLaren's diverse range of models and a mix of alphanumeric and traditional names, it can be challenging to keep track of the lineup, especially since McLaren has moved away from its original classifications of Sport Series, Super Series, and Ultimate Series. The Artura family is the successor to the 570S, which was part of the Sport Series. However, McLaren now classifies the Artura as a supercar, positioned below the 750S Spider. It's no longer the entry-level McLaren. The GTS holds that spot now. Despite this, the Artura Spider remains the most affordable convertible in McLaren's range. It's a true supercar with the performance to match. More details on its capabilities will follow. How does the Artura Spider differ from the Coupe? The differences between the Artura Spider and the Coupe go beyond just the addition of a retractable roof, which can open and close in 11 seconds at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. The storage of the roof mechanism, which uses eight lightweight e-motors instead of a complex hydraulic setup or a single motor with a complicated mechanism, necessitated adjustments to the cooling system of this mid-engine supercar. McLaren innovatively repositioned the heat extraction duct on the rear engine cover, moving it further back and shaping it to direct the extracted air upwards when the car is in motion. This prevents the air from damaging the paint at the rear. A smart solution indeed. The majority of the bespoke changes relate to the roof. Besides the retractable panel, which can optionally be an electrochromic glass panel, you can enjoy an airy feel without exposing yourself to harmful UV rays. This panel can switch from clear to opaque in seconds, blocking about 95% of UV rays. Additionally, McLaren replaced the body-colored rear buttresses with glass ones, enhancing rear visibility and adding a stylish touch. Another significant change is the windshield surround which features a header gurney, a specially molded kink at the top of the frame that directs air over the cabin and down the rear bodywork into various cooling and air supply vents. These include two cleverly hidden vents beneath the glass buttresses in the new single-piece carbon fiber tonneau cover. These modifications not only enhance functionality but also add a touch of elegance to the Artura Spider. Technical Changes and Driving Experience of the Artura Spider the Artura Spider has undergone several technical changes, including a slight increase in weight and minor adjustments to performance metrics. However, these changes are negligible, thanks to the carbon fiber monocoque at its core. This advanced structure eliminates the need for additional chassis reinforcement to accommodate the convertible design. The only other mechanical modification involved revising the dampers to manage the minimal extra weight added by the folded roof ensuring both the coupe and the convertible handle identically. Driving the Artura Spider Driving the Artura Spider is a thrill, a fitting descriptor for a car that offers much more than just speed. While it certainly boasts impressive acceleration figures, the experience is layered and nuanced. At its core, the Artura houses a 120-degree twin-turbo V6 engine, displacing 3.0 liters and delivering 596 horsepower and 431 lbft of torque on its own. This power is complemented by an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission featuring a new, pre-fill function that positions the clutch fractions of an inch from engaging to ensure lightning-fast shifts. Adding to this formidable setup is an axial flux electric motor generating 94 horsepower and 166 lbft of torque. Yes, the Artura is a hybrid, but from behind the wheel, you wouldn't guess it. There's still a hint of turbo lag, though minimal, noticeable if you're specifically searching for it. The peak torque is available over a wide range, from 2,250 to 7,000 RPM. The e-motor provides an additional boost, propelling the car out of corners even before the V6 reaches its full power at 7,500 RPM. This hybrid setup delivers a punch that feels natural and exhilarating. The Artura Spider's performance is nothing short of impressive. 
It feels remarkably agile and fast, with the rear e-diff expertly managing torque distribution left and right. The grip provided by the 295-35-ZR20 Pirelli P0 tires is extraordinary, allowing the car to accelerate and corner with confidence and poise. Powertrain Modes of the Archura Spider The Archura Spider offers four distinct powertrain modes, easily selected via a toggle switch positioned on the top right of the instrument binnacle. This switch is conveniently operable with two fingers while keeping your hand on the wheel. Electric Mode Enables pure electric driving up to 80 miles per hour, providing an 11 mile range. It's perfect for quiet early mornings, late nights, or when you want to enjoy the surreal experience of a silent supercar. Comfort mode balances between electric and combustion driving, defaulting to a quieter exhaust note and delivering smoother shifts. This mode adapts seamlessly to various driving conditions, maintaining a natural throttle response and intuitive gearbox operation. Sport mode enhances performance with sharper throttle response, open exhaust flaps for a more pronounced engine sound, and aggressive shifts. Electric-only cruising is disabled here, while battery regeneration and deployment are optimized for spirited driving. Track mode optimizes the Archura Spider for maximum performance on the track. It maximizes battery regeneration and power deployment, ensuring the quickest shifts and the most responsive throttle mapping for a thrilling driving experience. These modes provide versatility and adaptability, allowing the Archura Spider to cater to different driving preferences and environments with precision and ease. Performance in Upper Powertrain Modes In the higher powertrain modes, the Archura Spider delivers a truly exhilarating experience. While the throttle response remains consistent across modes, sport and track modes enhance the overall dynamic with sharper mapping and increased electric powertrain engagement. This combination provides ample acceleration that can effortlessly propel you to speeds that may lead straight to trouble. The distinctions between sport and track modes are subtle yet significant. Track mode holds onto lower gears longer and executes quicker shifts, aiming for precision over theatrics. In contrast, Sport mode delivers a more dramatic driving experience with quicker gear changes that are less aggressive than track modes, prioritizing theatrical flair. However, one notable drawback emerges in these modes, the sound of the Archura Spider. Unlike many modern performance vehicles, which amplify their presence audibly, the Archura Spider lacks the expected auditory drama. Despite its impressive performance capabilities, its subdued engine note might deceive you into underestimating just how swiftly you're accelerating until you glance at the speedometer. Engage the throttle, and the Archura Spider propels you forward with such vigor that it garners reactions ranging from admiration to astonishment, making it a standout in its class.